measurement multiplying units how do we multiply measures we arrange the measures first then we write the multiplying number then we multiply the regular way we adjust the product and get the final answer does that sound too complicated here let's just solve a few and you'll know what i'm talking about it's easier to just do it multiplication of measures we write the units below that we write the measures then we get ready to multiply look at the unit under grams we can see that we have to adjust it we know that 1000 grams is equal to 1 kg here we have 3 kilograms which we can club with the kilograms and keep the remaining grams then we keep the remaining grams we add up the kilograms and that is our answer multiplication of measures we write the units below that we write the measures then we get ready to multiply look at the unit under grams we can see that we have to adjust it we know that 1000 grams is equal to 1 kg here we have 16 kilograms which we can club with the kilograms and keep the remaining grams then we keep the remaining grams we add up the kilograms and that is our answer multiplication of measures we write the units below that we write the measures then we get ready to multiply look at the unit under meters we can see that we have to adjust it we know that 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer here we have 5 kilometers which we can club with the kilometers and keep the remaining meters then we keep the remaining meters we add up the kilometers and that is our answer multiplication of measures we write the units below that we write the measures then we get ready to multiply look at the unit under meters we can see that we have to adjust it we know that 1000 meters is equal to 1 km here we have 8 km which we can club with the kilometers and keep the remaining meters then we keep the remaining meters we add up the kilometers and that is our answer multiplication of measures we write the units below that we write the measures then we get ready to multiply look at the unit under milliliters we can see that we have to adjust it we know that 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter here we have 5 liters which we can club with the rest of the liters and keep the remaining milliliters then we keep the remaining milliliters we add up the liters and that is our answer multiplication of measures we write the units below that we write the measures then we get ready to multiply look at the unit under milliliters we can see that we have to adjust it we know that 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter here we have 6 liters which we can club with the rest of the liters and keep the remaining milliliters then we keep the remaining milliliters we add up the liters and that is our answer did you understand how to multiply basic units of length mass and capacity yes very good